Hello everyone, today is a sponsored video and it is sponsored by ExitLag. So in today's video, we're going to be explaining how to use exit lag for blade and soul. As most of you guys have already seen in my, usually in my videos, I have a little description thingy at the bottom saying that if you use my promo code, you get 15% off, etc, etc. You might have decided to try out exit lag. So what does exit lag do? Basically, it finds the most optimized routes or nodes in order to get you the lowest ping possible. However, there have been minor hiccups recently because of NC West side. Their servers haven't been the best recently, to put it nicely. Because of that, you're going to have to tinker with your exit lag settings a little bit. And so the main thing is, first of all, you need to select your game. So you can type here Blade and Soul and you'll it'll pop up right here. You click on it and there's game region. So you'll see in game region over here that there's a bunch of regions. There's US Dallas, there's Frankfurt in, in Germany, there's Moscow, Japan, Korea, Singapore, uh, Taiwan, Vietnam, blah, 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 right? So you're going to need to select a server depending on what server you play on, what region you play on. So if you play on the NA server, you're going to need to select either Dallas 1 or to Dallas 4. Any of these four servers are going to be connected to the US servers. If you are on the EU servers, you want to try Frankfurt 1 or Frankfurt 2. Uh, Moscow for the Russian servers, Tokyo 1 or Tokyo 2 for the Japanese servers, uh, you've got Seoul 2 or Seoul 3 for the Korean server, and then Singapore for the Garena servers, you've got the Thailand for the Thai servers, Taiwan for the uh, Taiwanese servers, and v uh, Vietnam for the Vietnamese servers. So those are all the different regions and the different servers. They do not include the Chinese server. If you want to try to connect to the Chinese server, you cannot use exit lag. You're going to need to use a different ping booster. So in my case, I play on the NA server. So on the NA server, there's a bunch of different settings over here. You can see here there's Dallas 1, 2, 3, 4. So which server do you connect to? It depends which kind of sucks for a lot of you guys because you're going to need to test it four times at least in order to see what gets you the best results. So what worked for me for the longest time was Dallas 1. However, soon after the servers went to poop, Dallas 1 stopped working properly. The reason why I said it stopped working properly was because I was getting lag spikes. So I would play perfectly fine and in the moment we start a fight, I would get a lag spike and it would be unplayable because my ping would just shoot up to like 800, 1000, and I wouldn't be able to do anything. So if that happens, simply switch to the next server. So as a rule of thumb, based on a lot of my guild members, if you live in Australia, I recommend using Dallas 2, 3, or 4. If you live in the Philippines, I recommend trying 1 or 2. If you live in Indonesia, try 1, 2, or 3. And if you live in America, try one or two. And also, if you live in India, try two, three, four. Usually those are the ones that work the best. So hopefully that covers the general gist of most of you guys who are looking for servers. Like maybe you've tried out exit lag, but you got lag spikes and you had a bad experience and you're like, oh, this program doesn't work. The thing about exit lag is you're going to need to test it several times in order to achieve the best results. So another thing is the TCP routes over here. Blade and Soul only supports TCP. It does not support UDP. So there's no point in putting any UDP routes. Just put TCP. By default, it should have two routes in TCP. I recommend you trying with two routes first. And if you don't get the best results, then upping it to five. Five is the sweet spot for me, it works perfectly fine for me. However, keep in mind by having five TCP routes, it does use more bandwidth. So if you live in Australia or if your data plan has a cap on your bandwidth, you may want to take a look at this. Other than that, it's relatively simple. You just look through here and you just select a server, Dallas 1, you just refresh. You can you don't even have to launch the game. You just click Dallas 1, you click update and it'll pop up here. You'll see your ping. So you see this is 155 plus 30 MS. So this is 185 MS is the best ping that I can get right now. And it'll tell you all the pings over here and make sure that they're all the server's pings is around the same. 
If there's one that's significantly higher, it will still increase your ping in game significantly. So let's say that, you know, these servers all give me about 185 ping, right? But let's say at the very bottom, let's say this Los Angeles 60, this server gave me like 800 ping. Then in game, my ping will spike because of that. So that's the reason why I don't recommend using five TCP routes unless you have decent internet. You need to keep that in mind. So what I do is I go Dallas one, I refresh it a couple of times just to look at my ping. One, two, three, and you know, my ping is relatively stable. Then I'll check on Dallas two. Again, I will also refresh it a couple times. You can see here, Dallas two, this server is extremely high. You can see San Jose 46. It's 230, uh, 230 MS plus 39 MS. So this is like 260, 270 MS compared to here, which is only 187. However, if I connect to Dallas two, it's going to give me the highest ping here. It's going to give me 270 MS, which is relatively high, especially considering that the other servers give me like 180. So I don't want to connect to Dallas 2. Then we've got Dallas 3. Again, we can smash that refresh button and we take a look. So over here, this looks decent. However, there is one server, Dallas 95 here, that gives me 260 MS, which is not ideal. So again, I'll go to Dallas 4. Again, smash the refresh button. These pings look good so far. Let's refresh it a couple times just to make sure. And it seems good. So I can either connect to Dallas 4 or I can connect to Dallas 1 because both of them, after updating several times, the ping seems to be stable. And that's basically what you need to do in order to find which is the most optimal server for you to connect. The reason why exit lag or any of these ping boosting programs are so volatile is because everyone's internet is different. So I live in China. So my ISP blocks certain ports, but doesn't block others. While if you're living in Singapore or if you're living in India or Indonesia, your government blocks different ports than China. So you need to test around and see which one works for you. Hopefully this video helped you out a little bit. Hopefully the explanation now makes it a lot more clear for you guys. Now you know how to set up your, how to set up exit lag properly. Since this is a sponsored video, there is a giveaway of a bunch of one week codes. So I'm giving away six one week codes in the description below. So you just go there, there's a little link, you click on it and it tells you all the details on how this giveaway works. And I'll be picking winners within a week. And I forgot to add, there is a three day free trial of exit lag by just going to their website, making an account and just, you can test it right off the bat for three days for free. And if you do like the program and you're planning to buy a subscription, uh, I would appreciate it if you use the link down below and use the referral code Karopi, you can save yourself 15%. And that way I get a small kickback and it does help out my channel. Hope this video helped. If it did, I would appreciate a subscribe and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. What can I say except you're welcome for the heals that boosts the rest?